agree. We no go agree. I swear, I swear to God Almighty, we no go agree. The blood is still neat. See blood. See fresh blood. See fresh blood. See fresh blood. Bro, bro. For confirmation, this is not smelling. See everybody that is here. Nobody cover nose. Nobody cover nose. This is not smelling. They killed him. They killed him. See, see fresh blood. See fresh blood. Ah, oh my God. Blood is still fresh. Lately, there has been a lot of controversies and a widespread of speculations. Questions have been asked as regards the death, the burial, and the exhumation of the singer Mobad. What really happened? Why was there fresh blood in his coffin after the exhumation? Why was he hurriedly buried? What injection was administered to him in the hospital? And who was the nurse that injected him? Was there a doctor that certified that Mubad was dead from the hospital? Why was he rushed to his father's compound for burial immediately after somebody made a video and was shouting, Mubad is gone, Mubad is dead, Mubad is gone, Mubad is dead. Why all of this? This whole thing is just so suspicious. There are things surrounding the death of Mubad. And I'm glad that the, the police are on top of the matter trying to get answers. Imagine the excuse of the father that if a young person dies and both parents are alive, that person should be buried immediately. Is that really true in Yoruba land? Or he's just making things up? Why the rush? He didn't, he didn't even mourn his son. He wanted to bury him that same day. Where is the doctor's report? Where is the certificate of death showing that a doctor confirmed that Mubad was dead? Why was he in a hurry to bury him? Why was his neck twisted or bent? Justice for Mubad. Justice for Mubad. It's so painful. It's so, it's so disheartening to see how people can be this wicked. What really happened and why was there fresh blood? in his coffin after the exhumation. When a person dies, autolysis and putrefaction begins to take place. Decomposition begins to take place. Autolysis also means self-destruction or self-digestion where the enzymes that are in the body begin to destroy the cells and the tissues in the body. Putrefaction, the bacteria that are already in the, in, in the body begins to also destroy the cells and the tissues in the body. But if you listen to what these guys are saying in this video, after the exhumation, that there was no smell, there was no, it's obvious that autolysis and putrefaction was delayed. So it's possible that Mubad was buried alive. Those who went to the grave site said the blood that was seen after the exhumation was fresh and there was no smell. It is very possible that Mubad was alive when he was buried. However, thank God that the police are on top of the matter and investigations are already ongoing to see that uh, uh, the real cause of his death is unraveled for everyone to see and know. Now, who are we to blame? Are we to blame Naira Mali or, 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 or Sam Larry or the father who was in a haste to bury him? Who is to be blamed about the death of Mubad, but why was there fresh blood in his coffin after the exhumation? This is what we want to find out today. I'm here today with Dr. Nwachuku, also known as Dr. Chooks. Dr. Nwachuku is a versatile medical doctor a general practitioner with postgraduate training in the field of cardiology, diabetes mellitus, and ultrasonography, which includes echocardiography. It's interesting to note that Dr. Nwachku is currently the only doctor listed under Nigeria as a country in the American National Board of Echocardiography website as a testimony. The website will be at the comment section below. You can verify his status there. Um, today, I would want him to give us his own opinion as regards Moba's death. So, Dr. Nwachko, you're welcome. Thank you for this opportunity to have you uh, talk about this very controversial death of Moba. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, 
uh, thanks for the opportunity that is given to me. Um, I've, I'm not the, the social media type. I hardly have time to, to see what is going on in social media. But uh, the issue of Mobad's death, uh, some few days ago, I decided to, because I hear it all the time, uh, justice for Mobad and all that. So, and yeah. then I now decided, let me, let me find out what the problem is. And I got information from several sources here and there, how he died. And there's something that really interests me. Mm. Um, about his death as, as, um, as a medical doctor. Um, and that is um, the way he was horridly buried. And yeah. um, in this country, we have laws, and uh, uh, those laws are set, for, set up for some reasons to protect uh, the living and also the dead. That's true. So we don't, I don't think um, it is wise for somebody to die and he's just dumped uh, six feet below, just like that, without mm. trying to know what the cost of the death is. For me as a doctor, there are conditions where um, somebody dies and you want to really know what killed the person because that information might be useful for the person who is living. Now for Mobad's death to be specific, um, the issue of him dying without nobody wanting to know how he died, mm. that's quite interesting. I, 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 I think I learned that an autopsy is going to be done. His body has been assumed and an autopsy is going to be done. But before that, I wonder um, from what I heard was that he, he went to a nurse, he was sick. I don't know, people are saying an ear infection or whatsoever. Yes, I still yes. wonder why so many controversies. Uh, why a uh, health, um, an ear infection. I'm still thinking what kind of ear infection would cause <laughs> uh, a death for somebody um, <laughs> um, like that. And not to mm. talk of a young man of that age. Yes. Okay, Just so uh, yes, it's, it's quite interesting for me. Now, um, he went to see a nurse and an injection was given and he collapsed. Somebody was shouting, Mobad is dead. And mm. the very next day he was buried. That's quite interesting. Now, and is it also interesting that no doctor was involved? Mm. That's meaning true. he was not certified dead. I don't know. It's not something I love doing, but as a doctor is what I need to do to certify people dead. Somebody dies and you are called to mm. doctor, come and even the nurses will call you. If anything yes. happens, they will call you and say, doctor, you are the one that will certify this person's death. And you will certify the person's death and document that this person died. So, so it is when you certify dead, mm. that is the time that will be regarded as the time of death for that patient. Okay. And also, you might also be requested to sign the, the death certificate death as certificate. the doctor who, who, who attended to that person before, before death. Now, let me go through the process I go through before I, I can confidently say that this person is dead. Okay, um, we usually, I usually go through it um, sequentially. Let's, I, I use the A to E approach, so I'll try to explain that. So A and B means airway and breathing. So what you do for, for a patient like that or somebody who are you, you've been called to certify whether the person is dead, is first you scotate the lungs, like you use okay. your stethoscope and you listen to the lungs. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to do that for at least one minute. You put your stethoscope there. This is the standard thing to do. You put your stethoscope there okay. and you listen. Uh, what you are looking for is, um, is, is breath sounds. Okay. You understand? You want to hear for audible breath sounds. If the person is dead, he will not hear anything. So at that point, I don't say he's dead and I walk away. That's okay. not enough. Wow. Okay. It's not, that's not enough. Even if I don't hear anything, I don't say he's dead mm. uh, I, and I live there. The next thing is we, we've done A and B. So next thing is C, which is circulation. Now, what I want to do at that point, I want to palpate for pulse for at least another woman. And it must be a central pulse. So usually I go at the carotid artery here, which is actually that supplies the brain. I want to check for pulse okay. in both sides because maybe um, if, for somebody that is that young, I doubt mm. that I will have any carotid artery disease. Disease. So I check for a pulse, and I must do that for one minute if I can to see whether he has um, any um, uh, pulse. Mm. Uh, a dead person will not have any pulse. Now, um, the next thing you want to do is um, you want to check for the next thing is the which is disability. So what you do that to check for pupillary light, um, light reflex. So you you open the person's um, eye, and then you you have what we call a pen torch, or you can use any light. You want to check for the pupillary right reflex. That mm. that is an involuntary reflex. It happens to everybody. If you are alive, if I shine a light suddenly in your eye, your pupil constricts. You understand? Mm. Okay. And if I go, if I move the light away, it dilates again. So that's okay. the normal pupillary right reflex. You want to check it on both eyes, because maybe one place. If the brain stem is still functioning well, that mm. pupillary right reflex will be there. If it is there, that person is not yet dead. Mm. Okay, now, but if it's not there, then that is one of the signs that the person um, 
um, um, could be there. So there will be no response. Now, another thing you want to do also in the disability, you want to check for pain stimulus. You want to you want to inflict pain on the patient and see whether the patient will respond, respond to that pain. Okay. okay, that's one of the things you do. And then what we usually, for me, I usually go, I, I depress, there's a nerve here called the supraorbital nerve. So you depress it. And then you see whether the person will move maybe the arm or the leg or wink or do something to show okay. that uh, there's pain there. Mm. You understand? A dead person will give you no response, no matter okay. how hard you request um, at, at that place. And finally, exposure. Uh, usually, if, depending on how long the person has been dead, the extremities will be cold. So these are the steps you go through. And I don't uh, think um, all of these steps were done to ascertain or certify I, that it was I, I doubt that was done. Because, because it, even, it, even yes. if it was going to be done, uh, it has to be done by a by medical a doctor. doctor. Yes. The nurse is not Cannot. authorized to do that, especially in, yes. a, a, in, a, in, a, in a place where I think it happened in Lagos. So and um, um, we and it's quite unfortunate for me for somebody his his status his age and his, status his, yeah his status he's he's known he's everywhere he's a celebrity yes you understand so yeah. why would he die and nobody would really certify him there so and then the question comes up because I also heard that when he was assumed um, I don't know how true that is because you know you see a lot of you hear a lot of things from the internet yeah uh, was that um, his um, his body was not. Um, uh, putrefaction has not taken place, and yeah. there was no smell or something like that. And there was uh, fresh blood. Yes, there was evidence. Anyway, that was I, 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 um, a lot of things could explain <laughs> that, but you know, you have to be very careful. Yes. You don't want to. I saw a patient this morning, and um, uh, she a report was waiting for her. In the report, it was said that um, uh, she is free from all illness. I said, no, <laughs> I cannot certify you free from all illness. I'm not God. <laughs> you might be you might be free from, from chronic disease. You mm. might be free from um, um, any infectious disease. But I'm, mm. am I sure you don't have what we call obsessive compulsive personality disorder? It's an illness too. The psychiatric illness. How am I sure you don't have that? I can't, I can't because of all these things you do, I say you are free from all illness. Yeah. I can also talk about what I have done for you and say you are free from this particular side. You don't have hypertension. You okay. don't have diabetes. Yes. You don't have any maybe tuberculosis which is what i'm asked to check out regarding uh, mobat death it was after the body was exhumed by the police it was said that fresh blood was seen in the coffin after his body was exhumed so what is your take on that as regards the no, fresh blood that was seen? i i i um i don't want to make any rash this, um, uh, okay a statement on that because okay. what do they mean by fresh blood okay. so we are very careful because okay for my own experience except i see something was he a doctor who made that statement or just a lay person uh, the, the crowd that went to the great so, side that's the issue so when, 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 when they are making and they are saying you don't you, you you have to be very careful you don't you don't move and make a statement based on just i don't know what what they mean by fresh blood, fresh blood okay. and uh, and no fresh blood <laughs> okay. you understand it could mean like, for me my my practice patients come to me and they tell me that doctor i have fever mm. and i tell them what do you mean? I always ask this question. Can you tell me what you understand or you mean fever to be? And I get a lot of response. Someone will say that my tummy is paining me, uh, my leg is paining me, and a lot of things comes, and that, that is their own definition of fever. Okay. And then I, I will go ahead and try to explain to them, fever means one thing and one thing alone. Your body temperature is high. So you understand? <laughs> if that is not the case, if you are having headache and you say you have fever, or you are mm. feeling somehow, you are not yeah. yourself, you say you have fever. So I'm very careful when people um, say something like that. So I wouldn't want to comment on that. It's a good thing that um, the police are on top of the matter to carry out autopsy and to investigate as to why Mobad actually died. So I think we will await the findings of the police and the pathologists to see yes. what actually happened. Yes, I think uh, I am also very interested in that case. Before now, I really did not know who Mobad was. Yes. I, <laughs> I never... I never knew who he was, uh, but now I, I listened to some lyric, the lyrics of some of his song and where he was talking about um, uh, when he dies mm, and yes. people will talk about him and when he, he's even uh, more popular now, dead uh, than he was. I did not know him. I never <laughs> knew who he was. When he's uh, talking of Mubad, of mm. course I know uh, some of the people that that surround the, the boy, I, him, I never I never knew who he was. And it would be interesting for us to know. I hope the Lagos State Government would um, would make public because this is now in the public domain. It's That's no true. longer a private thing. Private so thing, yeah. I hope all the, the, world. The, the the Lagos State Government will make the findings of the autopsy known to all of us. So mm. and let's really learn from it. And I think um, this should. Um, help us also change our, our, our system in this country because a situation where you go to a hospital a, 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 a doctor is not there although we can't blame that the issue of a lot of doctors leaving the country at this stage 
Uh, I'm probably still here because of maybe the love I have. All my friends are outside of this country. All of them, all yes. the people I went down, I was close with when I was in school, they are all in the US, in the UK, mm. Saudi Arabia, here and there. But I'm still here uh, for some personal reasons. So, um, but the the shortage of medical doctor, probably there was no medical doctor there because of mm, the shortage of medical true. doctor to attend to him. But it's still um, unfortunate for me that um, a nurse was the person who attended to him mm. at that stage. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to derogate nurses or anything. No, that's not the point. But um, um, I believe he should have gotten um, better, better care, care, a better care at that point. Mm. And you go to a hospital, a doctor, we all work, I work with, it, with nurses and then they assist me in everything I do. But we all know our limits and what we can do and then we, we, we remain in that limit and it's for the good of, of, of the patients and at the end of the day. So, so, um, so, Doctor, you, you, wanted, you, you wanted to say something about the lyrics of his music and making, you were making reference to one other... Yes, I remember when I was uh, in school. Okay. In, 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 um, in um, I can't remember, but very well, that was a long time ago. When I was in secondary school, actually okay. in JS1, okay. I did music. My music teacher then, we were talking, we used to, part of the curriculum then was talking about the history of, um, of some of these great composers like Mozart, and um, Handel, and I, I, I can't actually remember, I think it was Mozart or Handel, who, before he died, somebody okay. came to him and, and asked him to write a requiem. A requiem is a, is, is a kind of song you write, you, you present at the, in a burial or something like that. Okay. So while he was writing it, he felt he was writing it for himself, and mm. eventually that's what happened. That was, he died um, after that and all. And I, it has some similarities with Mobad, the way he died and what happened to, to, to him and him, probably seen his death or something at that mm. very young age. Anyway, we hope that um, something good will come out of this. It will help sanitize. And if anybody that is um, criminally liable should be held accountable. What, what are your last words? For me, I just look at the medical part of it. I've had a lot of things I don't want to talk about, about um, his um, association with um, Nairamali. Uh, Nairamali and the other guy. Sam Larry. Yes. I, I don't even know. I, I know Nairamali. I don't even know who Sam Larry is. I've never heard of him before, before okay. now. Okay. Um, I used to like Nairamali's song. <laughs> you understand? I think the one he sang that time, the first one I knew him. So, for, so I, uh, but um, I, for me, I believe everybody should be innocent until proven guilty because there's a saying that um, you say we have three sides of the story. I listened to a song by Culture. Culture, the title of that song is Three Sides of the Story. So, uh, there are three sides of every story your side, my side, and the truth. Okay. You understand? So that is the way it is. We are protesting and hoping that he eventually gets um, justice. justice and let real justice be done. We hope that this will not be swept under the carpet and then um, the whole true story will be shown. And whoever is actually um, uh, culpable should be made to face the full out of the yes. law mm. um, as, as it, is, it is in a, in a sane society. So, so that's my final take. Justice from Mubad. Yeah. Justice from Mubad. Justice from Mubad. So Chinonso Ejimba, otherwise known as a Proko doctor gave an insight as to the possible reasons why there was fresh blood after the exhumation of Mobat's body. Now, here's what he said as regards why there was fresh blood in his coffin after the, uh, the exhumation. Your blood has a red color because of a compound called hemoglobin. That's what carries oxygen through your body. When blood is exposed to air, the cells that carry this hemoglobin die and the hemoglobin becomes exposed to air and starts to change color to a darker one. This dark color is because the hemoglobin is being changed to another compound called methemoglobin. Normally, when people die, they die with all the blood in their system, but it doesn't move because circulation has stopped, but it's still there. Let's not forget. Now, during embalming, this blood is usually replaced with another fluid. The question is, was he embalmed? Even at that, you can't get all the blood out. Some will still be left. All we want to know is why it's still red, right? There is one possible reason. There is one possible reason. In a closed compartment, there is very little air on the ground. So it's possible that the hemoglobin is not exposed enough to change color to the darker one. As to why it's that much, we don't have ac access to the body. So we don't know what other injuries were inflicted on his body. We remember his neck was in an unnatural position to fit in the coffin, to fit in the coffin. It is possible that it is possible that 
It is possible that must have broken his vessels to cause some blood still in the system to leak out. All we can do is to all we can do is speculate. We will not be more knowledgeable than people with the body physically and examining it. It's a good thing that the police are on top of the matter to see that autopsy is carried out and answers are given to the many questions being asked by Nigerians and the world at large. Justice must prevail for Mobad. Justice for Mobad.